This episode of Second Vermont is brought to you by Coldwell Banker, Hickok, and Boardman Realty. I have a lot of friends that are interested in tech, as you can see, all these people. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name is Ava Solberger. We're down here at the Main Street Landing Performing Arts Center in Burlington, Vermont, for Vermont 3.0. Jam. We get a lot of surprise of the of the, what the tech environment is in Vermont. Yeah, I was very surprised to say the least. Pleasantly surprised. I mean, it gives me more options. There's a lot of firms that are here that people never heard of before. No, I really didn't. I probably knew about three of the ones that were here. So. Not only are there about 65 exhibitors here, people are looking for jobs, people are offering jobs. They like the brand that Burlington has to offer. They like the creative climate. They like the creative culture. Hey, Vermont's got a very vibrant tech, tech uh, environment. Yes. The future holds untold opportunities. Today it's the Vermont 3.0 Tech Jam. We've seen a lot of high school kids today, we've seen college kids today, middle school kids. These are the companies in Vermont that are growing, that are hiring, that are looking to recruit and retain employees. And, and I'm seeking employment. I'm looking at IT. This fair is giving me a couple ideas. We're looking for some new people to work at for anthropology and also talking to other people in the creative community and learning more about what Burlington and Vermont at large has to offer. Burlington's unemployment rate is 4.9 percent. The nation's unemployment rate is almost twice that. Burlington has a lot of companies that started small and have grown big over time. We've invested in schools, our airport, our roads, our electric grid, our telecom services. I mean, you think of Burlington is a small New Englandish quaint town, but the amount of tech industries that are up here is quite phenomenal, actually. We're about keeping people here in Vermont, keeping jobs in Vermont, and growing the local economy. Yeah, that's actually been the most exciting part, I think, is having the young people come here to see all the energy and enthusiasm that they bring to an event like this. Vermont, they have pretty good colleges like Champlain. I find that a pretty good college. VTC is a nice college. If they could study science, math, engineering, technology, and there's careers down the road. Uh, this, video game designing. <laughs> We've gotten lots of resumes, got lots of people looking to be interns, a lot of people that hopefully will be hiring down the road. Uh, just a lot of great talent's been walking through. And several times at Vermont 3.0, Chris Lee's parents came. Chris was going to school out of state, and they would drop off his resume and said, our son's a really smart guy, and we're, you know, hoping he'll find a job in Vermont when he gets done with school. So we're hiring for a support position, and the, the resume comes in, and it's the resume from Chris Lee is here. Matt just took his picture earlier because he said, how cool would it be that you're behind the table this year and uh, we can show your parents they'd get a real kick out of it. So. Eden Street by far, one of the great things, just the people in the working environment. So that's yeah. our sort of Vermont 3.0 success story. There is also a NASA trailer. That's right, I said NASA. Mm -hmm. Type in your first name. You want Moon or Mars? Yeah, I'm gonna get a picture of you with your camera, like in the suit. Okay, so you need to come over here. So now I've been to Mars, and I'm about to go to the moon. <laughs> this is an actual moon rock. It's 3.75 billion years old. The moon is basically as old as the Earth. They formed together. This is NASA's exploration experience, and it's from Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama, and we take it all over the country. I'm here to talk to the community and the students and what are some of the lessons we learn in space that we can translate back to Earth to improve life here. I don't want to do anything but NASA. <laughs> Um, I came here from Los Angeles and it's great to come to events like this to actually see more people who are doing great, creative, technologically oriented stuff in Vermont. We moved here a few years ago for a lifestyle change, have a great place to raise our kids in a safe environment. Well, I flew out here from Utah last night, drove up, and I wanted to get a feel for some of the uh, jobs that they had up here. My purpose is to find something and then eventually relocate uh, up here. They're retiring, they want to move here, they want to move families here. They want to grow their families here. The school system is second to none. People want to live, work, and play, and that's all complete here. The Vermont brand to me is having a balance between your work and your life. A lot of people here are doing really cerebral, smart stuff, but at the same time, you know, people are still snowboarding, people are still hiking. You know, it has the water, it has the mountains, it has all the outdoor activities that, you know, I love. 
I think the Vermont brand has a lot to do with entrepreneurials, the entrepreneurial spirit, and I think you know, high quality. And the town is a, is a small town, but it has kind of a big city feel-ish type thing, but it's still got the small town values and stuff, um, and it's really dog friendly. Commutes are super short, air's clean, it's gorgeous, love it. Meet me on the grass, grows tall and green Inside the dandelion field near the mountain stream We've got your old room waiting and you've kept it clean I've got a little simple nectar you can share with me Come on been more horrific, but despite that, loads of people turned up for Vermont 3.0, and they're here at the NASA trailer. We'll get second round with you again real soon. Part of the reason why I moved to Burlington was because I watched uh, the Stuck in Vermont videos. I think I watched 20, maybe 30 of them. Um, I saw all the interesting, weird, quirky stuff going on, all the creative personalities everywhere, and I thought, you know, this is something I'd like to try out for six months, see how it goes. Uh, that was about three years ago. We're starting to outgrow our, our home now and we're just renting and we're getting married in two weeks so we want to start a new home together. To be represented by a realtor makes more sense now than ever. Oh, it's great. He does everything for you and explains everything. Your home is your largest investment that you're ever going to make. Take your time. You have to have fun with it. My goal as your realtor is to help you make a good decision that you're going to be happy with for a long time.